Did you hear what Grandma said? I said, I don't think you should go. I don't, I don't think Fred wants to be there. <laughs> I think I should go. I should either take Sammy with me or go alone. I think you should go. She seemed like someone who was very important to you. Well, what about Sammy? It's his birthday. Maybe. And he wants to go, so he should go. I think you should. Like and, then it, and then what about Hamilton? She can either give my Sammy my ticket to Larnell, and Larnell can drive her, and you and Ella can put the wheelchair together. Does she still, does she want to go? Like, if, does she even want the coronavirus? Does she still want to go? Well, I'm just saying we have the tickets, and we should go. So let Larnell drive and take you. Yeah. Maybe Dave will go. Yeah, yeah because Dave was talking about taking me. Well, you like, can, and Ella can put the wheelchair together, can't you? Yeah. And they can drive my car. Or learn I don't know. Really, she's so grumpy. She just can't be supportive of anything I do. Really. I mean, I don't want to go. I don't want to travel. Oh, I'm doing this. Oh, sorry. I think Ella's recording, honey. Be quiet. Oh my god, is that the person who stole whatever his name is, Catalytic Converter? Well, I don't know. I just thought you might be interested in reading it. Ella's recording right now. Did oh. you hear what Grandma said to me? No. What? She said I should not go to the memorial. Of course. I don't even know who you have to do. Just it. One, two, three, four. One and two and three and four and one chocolate, two chocolate, three chocolate, four chocolate. One and a two, three and a four. Right, though. One and a two and a three and a four and a. He said he could get out from my cat. So he could not do it. Oh no! Oh, I just scared it. Thank you. 
Um, I would like to say something. I actually really like how you're kind of keeping your hand really close together. Kind of like even though they're not necessarily going down as best friends, that you're you're really keeping your hand together like it's all part of a I don't know. It's like keeping your friends close, maybe? No, it it feels like <clears throat> you're doing something a little different. I mean, you can use the fancy word for it, but I, I'd like to think of a new word for it. It's kind of like, um, yeah, I guess it's keeping the frame, but it's kind of like a long time ago when when we used to do typewriters. You know what a typewriter oh, yeah, is? Yeah, I do. All, all the fingers need to be right over the keys to, to keep typing. You didn't really... You might go up a little or down a little, but it, you, you didn't actually do that unless you move your hand over. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I also like some of the sound that you're getting. I'm sorry. I can't do this for you right now. Gosh. Check back again after future update. Oh, why do that? Um, I thought I heard some notes that were long enough for vibrato, but I'm not sure. Yeah, I was just playing through it. I was like, oh, okay. I'm going to get to the wall. Looks like dead 
It's been 34 minutes? Wow, I don't care. I need to finish it. I want to, I don't, I don't, don't want to. <laughs> okay, um, <clears throat> skills. Okay, now I'll actually put it in the second page.
watching. Yeah. Okay.
I had really been enjoying listening to you practice up until about two minutes ago. And what happened about two minutes ago is I feel like you're trying to use all your energy and it's getting spread out too thin now. Do you know what I mean? Well, before it seemed like you were really focusing your energy on a few things that I really remembered from the lesson. But now it feels a little bit like you're going through too much of the piece, and I think you could take a smaller slice of pie right now. I can do that. Could you, could you just pick something that you were just working on and just isolate it into a couple of measures and really fix it? and then take a break and move on to another section and then, you know,
I start a little bit, bit before. Mm -hmm. uh -oh. Okay. What can I show you? Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, 47. inside your brain when you're playing that as like what are you trying to work on can you tell me what are you thinking about how to work on that part you just did I'm trying to get it better in tune better in tune okay and what are you doing to get it better in tune um, I'm tuning it and then seeing which note is out of tune mm -hmm. and why is it out of tune do you know is it because of shifting or an extended note? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Oh, okay. Um, okay. And then perhaps you could also think about how it sounds and whether uh, what you could do with your bow and the sliding. Right. Remember he said it's yeah, the... Yeah, he said if you grab onto your bow, it's going to override. He said if what? He said if you like hold on to your bow too much, it's like kind of like that. Well, it's not that if you, you're right, it's if you hold on it too much in a certain way. Because he means if you hold on it too much with these fingers. But he really, it probably means that your thumb is, is bananaed. Because... You actually don't have to hold your bow uh, in a weird way. Do you know what a fulcrum is? Oh. Well, a fulcrum is a tool. And a fulcrum is something that allows you to move something heavy without being strong. Oh, those so, like the things that have the platform at the bottom and then there's like this thing. That's right. And the idea with bowing is that you don't grab it. You make your hand a fulcrum. And the way you do that is with this and this. So just like if you want to lift up this, if you want to lift up this with a fulcrum, let's pretend that this was super heavy, okay? So instead of picking it up, you could um, slide something under it like this. You could slide something under it. And then you could push something under here that would that would hold it. And then you go, bink. Okay? So with your violin, you have three parts that are making that happen. You are you gonna let me explain it to me? You, but okay. You have put your hand arm out. Okay, you have your thumb, okay, 
That's not going to let me lift up anything. Okay, but if I put this here, suddenly I have lots of power. And this is just holding it. Okay, so I have two things. I have these two things that hold it. And then what is pushing up? You, the violin. Remember he said the violin goes up? Well, between these two things, me pushing, me with a fulcrum, sorry, but that's the point. You have to be willing to let it go. And with the violin going up, you don't have to be stiff there to go up. You can just move up. It's not like you go, Ugh! you just move it up. You go up. You just, you just make it meet it. Not to push, but make but it meet. But the bow like stays. Right. Like the violin is Try it. Even on a really high note. That's what you poor violinists have to do because you don't have your violin on the ground like us wonderful cellists. We don't have to move our fulcrum. It's already on the ground. going up, but the bow is sliding. Oh, because you took your fingers off. Good for you. Wow, what a big sound. But, yeah, I think you got the idea. Should I clean this up? Not right now, when you're finished, yes. to do in this practice, do you think? I don't exactly know. Are you just kind of playing with a piece of bone? Well, I think you're doing a great job. Oh, I have something I should do. What? Stuff check number 29. 27. Okay. 27. And I wrote in that. Mm -hmm. I don't know the next what? Yesterday at orchestra, I just noticed that I think like something happened, but my bow, like the bigger one, got and tightened. What's it be? Marsha. It's Marsha. Marsha. Is it still recording? Yeah. Hi, Marsha. Are you want to talk to her? Sure. Yeah. Yeah. You're not allowed to talk like Larry. Only Larry allowed to talk like Larry. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Is it still recording? Yeah. I think that's what she meant. She sent me a text that said you had a good practice. Are you going to put the phone up to the recording? Yeah. <laughs> I'm still recording. Oh. Well, then I'm not going to talk. <laughs> <laughs> well, why don't you do it? Is she busy? You want to keep playing for her? You want to well, tell her what you were just doing? Because I don't feel like having to like watch something if I have to listen to it. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs>